Just before we dive into the video, I want to let you guys know we have an awesome giveaway running right now with the guys over at Gamer Chic for everything you see on screen. If you want to get involved, be sure to click that link in the description box down below. And if you want to save some money on buying Iceborne in the UK, then you can go over to their website and use the code ARIXGAMING, which makes it one of the cheapest places to buy right now. Hey what's going on guys, Arix here, welcome back to another video for Borderlands 3 and we're back with another build guide and this time we're turning our attention to Moe's with an absolutely insane explosive splash damage build. This is a build that when we first kind of set this up we're like, this feels kind of broken in a good way because this build has not only insane splash damage explosive potential but it also has healing and survivability with it because you basically get healing through explosions so you get to the point where to a degree, you're kind of unkillable. Obviously, if you're fighting, you know, heavy, strong endgame enemies and they hit hard enough, you're still going to get killed and go down. But generally speaking, for a lot of the stuff that you do, it's very easy to just outheal a lot of the incoming damage as well as dishing out crazy damage in the process. So this is just a very, very potent build. And more importantly, it also focuses on Moses' abilities as a soldier more so than just her mech because it's very easy to think about Moses as the mech class, right? You want to think, oh, I'm always going to spec around the mech. But... You forget, she's also a soldier, she's also very potent on herself, she has some great gun skills, so if you want to play this as, you know, the soldier and you really want to kind of kick out those massive numbers, then uh, you definitely want to check this out. So, starting off with the skill tree, we're going to be putting most of our points in the Demolition Woman tree, and of course there's also going to be a few points spent elsewhere, but starting off in this skill tree, we have five points spent in firing the Skag Den, of course, you know, there are a few more points in here thanks to a class mod, but generally speaking, you'll be maxing this out, and for this one, whenever Moe's deals splash damage, she deals bonus incendiary damage so this also has fire potential you're then going to go down to the second line and you're going to use means of destruction whenever Moe's deals splash damage there is a chance to add ammo to her currently equipped weapons magazine with a smaller chance to return a grenade so obviously you know you're kicking out explosions you're getting your ammo back it's pretty nice pair that with Torg cross promotion and you have it where all your splash damage dealt by Moe's has a chance to double in size so basically increasing the radius meaning you can catch more enemies meaning you can then proc skills more frequently that lean on explosions. You're then going to want to spend points in pull the holy pin maxing this out with this one Moe's grenades have a chance to score a critical hit dealing greatly increased damage and source of critical hit damage do not affect grenade critical hit so taking something that normally just does flat explosive damage and giving it the ability to crit is also incredibly potent. You can start to sort of see where this build is going, it's already pretty exciting. Moving on from there we then max out Vampire where whenever Moe's damages an enemy with a thrown grenade for every enemy that she hits she restores a portion of her missing health so that is where you get some of your recharge skills and don't forget obviously because we've also got the skills that increase the explosive radius the chance of catching more enemies is just significantly increased so this is where the healing really starts to come into its own. You also want to max out why can't I carry all these grenades which is a brilliant name you can kind of just picture the meme of the guy holding all the grenades and be like oh why can't I carry these because you've got so many damn grenades with this one it increases Moses grenade carrying capacity you then want to go and max out the skill to the last where Moses gains the ability to throw grenades while in fight for your life and if she threw a grenade before gaining second wind a grenade is refunded so factoring in that you already have a lot of explosive damage this can also be a good way to just finish off enemies and get yourself back up and then finally of course the last skill in this tree is short fuse where whenever Moe's deals gun damage, there is a chance of a secondary explosion centered on the target. So again, more explosions. Basically, if you like blowing things up, you're going to want to use this build. Of course, on top of that, you're then going to want to go over to your mech mods. Now, as mentioned, this isn't really a mech build, so to a degree, you can kind of use whatever you want, because ultimately this is more so about your grenades, your gun damage, and just Moe's as a soldier. But still, regardless, we're going to throw the nukes on because it's an explosive build. So Vanquisher Rocket Pod and then of course the mod that then changes that into a nuke Hammertown Protocol instead of the conventional Vanquisher Rocket Pod it instead launches a single nuclear warhead dealing massive radiation damage. It's a lot of fun. Maybe it's not super efficient having them on both arms because they're quite slow. But again, we're not really going to be using the mech too much in this build. Then after that, we're going to go and switch over to the orange tree, Shield of Retribution, to spend the remaining points. For this one, you then want to go and start off with Armored Infantry, max this out. While Moses' shields are active, she gains damage reduction and increased gun damage. Plus, you're also going to want to max out Selfless Vengeance, where whenever Moses reloads, she loses a small portion of her health and grants additional incendiary damage to her and her allies' rounds for a few seconds. So this actually benefits the wider team, which is very, very nice. You then want to go and max out Drowning in Brass, where this is a kill skill. Killing an enemy grants Moe's a stack of Drowning in Brass. And for each stack you have, Moe's fire rate is reduced, but gun damage is increased for both her and her allies. So again, 
good for pushing up that gun damage. You then want to go down to the middle tree, max that out with experimental munitions where whenever Mo scores a critical hit she deals bonus incendiary damage and remember because of the skill we had in the other tree your grenades can crit so that also links in together and then finally you also want to spend some points in Desperate Measures where Moses' gun damage is increased depending on how low her health is. The lower her health, the greater the increase. So especially if you're in those situations where you're, you know, getting close to like second wind, then uh, this could be pretty potent. Of course, again, bear in mind these are kind of constructed around level 45, so you have a few more points to spend. So you can spend some more points in this and then uh, spend the others wherever you want. But generally speaking, that is how it works. It's all about throwing out those grenades, getting those massive explosions, which of course means any grenade that has much bigger explosive radiuses anything that kind of like kicks out additional explosions one of those ones that's like a cluster bomb that kind of splits into multiple munitions things like that they are all going to be very very potent because you know the more explosive stuff you can do the more kind of explosions you can proc effectively the more benefit you can get from this build so yeah when it comes to picking your loadout weapons again you can kind of pick and choose what you like there will obviously be weapons that will uh you know eventually when we find weapons with nice anointed bonuses then there may be things that synergize quite nicely but for the time being Pick the weapons you like, but grenades, definitely look for something that has lots of explosions. Any of those things that are mortars, anything like that should allow you to get the most out of this build. For the time being, that's pretty much it. That is the build that 26 has been running in our campaign playthrough and having a ton of success with that. And honestly, it's just crazy to look at because there'll be situations where we just run out and there's just explosions all over the place to the point where it's been kind of hard to see the enemy sometimes. We're just shooting into a cloud of explosions and particle effects. It looks fantastic. It's a lot of fun. If you want to blow stuff up, you want to be successful, you want to stay alive, check this build out. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.